my patience is at its all time high, but my tolerance, my tolerance. <laughs> Yeah. I wanna see all my people win, and we know that I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born in town, I speak my mind and get that glow back Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that Greetings my kinjas, welcome back to another vlog. First and foremost, if you are new, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification button too so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Now, if you are not caught up on my last vlog, I'm gonna need you to put a pause here, go catch up, and then come back. If you are already caught up, welcome my loyal kindred. <laughs> Just got finished getting dressed. Jules, he's an African DJ, he's in town. He hit me up, he invited me to come out. He's having a show tonight at Rocksteady. But yeah, I just called my lift. Um, it's like two minutes away. I'm about to go out. We're about to have a good old time. I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling fine. So yeah, let's go. about to make me some breakfast hold on i'm about to make me some breakfast i went to the grocery store yesterday look after that girl's night out i had a rough day yesterday trying to recover like girl you is not 21 no more now let me stop i'm still young but no for real i'm not 21 anymore so, so i don't know taking five shots in a matter of 40 minutes as a pregame way too much way too much i woke up the next day i actually yeah because i ended up like getting home at like five o'clock in the morning so i woke up like around 12 and was just like out of it i feel like it was maybe like around 12. it might have been like 11 honestly i didn't sleep for long but i think because i didn't sleep for long i just felt like so hung over the entire day but i ended up going to the grocery store i went to trader joe's and i got i re up on my groceries in my brain thinking, okay, I'm not gonna spend no more than like $175, right? When I went to that goddamn register, I don't know, I guess because I haven't been grocery shopping in a while and I've just been like eating out and stuff like that. I ain't really been cooking like that. I guess I forgot how to go grocery shopping. Why can't I open this? I guess I forgot how to go grocery shopping. Cause when I went to the register, um, not even half of my groceries were rung up already and my 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 freaking uh bill was over a hundred dollars i was like oh hell no what the hell did i just do man by the time <laughs> that man rung up all my groceries i said who are you feeding a five fam a five party family like girl what's going on but when i look at all the stuff that i got it don't 
look like that much worth of stuff. It was like three hundred dollars worth of groceries. I don't feel like it looked it like that. You know, stuff in Trader Joe's is like really cheap. That's okay because I'm definitely going to be back in my kitchen cooking. Plus, I need to create like um, cute content for y'all, anyways. So. I'm gonna be cooking, trying to look up some new and fun and innovative recipes and stuff like that. So that's cool. So I'm definitely gonna be locked in. Then I have to get on my computer and respond to these emails so I can get some more brand deals coming up in here. Um, so I have some emails I need to respond to so that way I can get some stuff to promote and get paid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah, oh, and then my cousin from North Carolina is coming into town today his son is having a football game at Buford High School so I have went ahead and got me some tickets so me and my friend we're gonna go to the football game I've been to a high school football game since high school so and I graduated high school 10 years ago I can't believe it's been 10 years I really need to take some more pictures I need some more pictures I need some more content on Instagram because my Instagram has really been like on the slow train lately I don't like it I don't like it if y'all not following me on Instagram, can y'all please head over to Instagram and nothing more and follow me and engage with me, you know what I'm saying? Share my stuff, you know what I'm saying? Even if y'all watching my videos, like, can y'all do like the cute little boomerangs or little videos of y'all watching my YouTube videos? Tag me so I can repost y'all. You know what I'm saying? We just gotta get the engagement up on our social platforms. Cause we got some long-term girls on this. I'm not just doing, I mean, I'm doing this for fun, but I'm not just doing this for fun, okay? I'm doing this to entertain my fellow kids, you know? So I just need y'all help to push my stuff. I saw that somebody commented underneath my um my last video and was like, hold on, let me see what she said. So on my last vlog, someone commented and was like, just let me say, Queen Kendra does her thing when it comes to editing, which I really be trying. That's why I don't like just, I don't be posting just anything because I like to take my time and edit and do like, you know, cute little stuff. Y'all may not notice it, but I really do be putting my all into my vlogs and stuff. But she was like, um, she does her thing when it comes to editing. If she posts for real, for real, if she posts for real, for real, she would surpass some of these YouTubers that's been doing it since the early 2000s. I'm just saying. Okay, okay. <laughs> so look, I just need to um, put a little bit more oomph in my stuff, and I need my kindreds to really have my back and like share my stuff, tag me, you know, do all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I gotta figure out. We gotta come up with a master plan. Thinking of a master plan. Oh, what's the name of that song? Hey Google, play. Hayden Fool by Eric B. and Rakim. Hayden Fool by Eric B. and Rakim. Sure. Playing on YouTube music. This is a journey into sound. I'm a killer. I 
I know deep down in my bones that my time is coming. So I'm enjoying watching everyone else glow the fuck up, doing their damn things. Because I know when my time comes, baby. <laughs> when my time comes. <laughs> and things of that nature and then he decides to take it upon himself to bring up my weight gain Child. I said excuse me he said you need to start working back on being the best version of yourself I said what does my weight have to do with it he was like you're not the best version of yourself and he said you can see it all in your face in your arms and even your boobs got bigger he said, I'm just I'm just saying, we're talking about goals. Oh, that's what it was. We were talking about just like goals and aspirations and like career paths and stuff like that. But what does my weight have to do with that? And who gave you the authorization to voice your opinion about my weight gain equating to me not being my best self? When I say that had me so livid, that had me so livid. They ain't gonna talk about something. They ain't gonna talk about something. Um, and, and you can tell that you had got surgery because all your weight is going to your face and your arms and your boobs, but nothing to your stomach. Your stomach's still flat. So you still all right, but I can just tell you not to chip and stuff. And you start going back to the gym. No. I was so mad, like so irritated. And I'm so like non-confrontational. So like when people do or say fucked up shit to me sometimes, like I I have to take like a step back before I express my feelings on the things that you said or did to me. Right? I either do that or I just block you. <laughs> it's either that or I just block you. Or I'll do both. Cause I don't play that. Like I'm so, I'm so, I'm so nice. I swear to God. I'm like one of the nicest people that you could ever meet. And that's some real shit. You can literally ask anybody. But, so I really just don't understand why people be trying me and testing my patience. But your girl that came a long way. And I tell you that, I came a long way. <sighs> Regarding my patience, my God. Granted, I do want to like tone down, like slim down upper body wise. So I know I need to do more like upper body workouts and stuff, but who the fuck asked you? And why do you as a man feel like you have the right or why are you so comfortable with even saying it out your mouth? He's so comfortable saying it out his mouth because I ain't checking. I just be needing, look, I just sat there and I'm just like looking I mean, he saw them all, all in my face, but I'm just looking like, and it took so much for me not to hang up, but I just, you know, let him play himself. Then after that, I was like, all right, well, you have a good night. <laughs> you have a good one, little bitch. I think people be taking my kindness for weakness, not realizing that 
Bitch, I'll block you in a heartbeat. Look, we came a long way since last year, okay? A long way. Look, my patience is high at its, at its my patience is at its all time high, but my tolerance, my tolerance is down here. Anyways, so I need to clean my makeup brushes. It's been a while since I cleaned my makeup brushes. I think the last time I cleaned my makeup brushes, it was like, it was like a month ago. <laughs> it was like a month ago. Nasty. So, like look. It's definitely time for me to clean my makeup brushes. I mean, fortunately, the skin is still Skin and the skin is still glowing. Like, look at my skin. Like, it's it's giving it's giving heavy. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to clean my makeup brushes. But I'm also hungry. But I'm also scared. I'm like, if I clean my makeup brushes right now, I ain't gonna be able to go nowhere today because my makeup brush is gonna be wet. So actually, I'm gonna leave them right here. Actually, I'm gonna put them back in the bathroom because I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes in the morning or tonight. Oh shit. Damn, I think I'm gonna have to wait until Sunday or something like that. Damn, it's a holiday weekend. Okay, maybe this isn't a good time to clean my makeup brushes because I like for my makeup brushes to air dry. Damn, I really thought I was gonna clean my brushes this segment. <laughs> But that's okay, because we got something else. <laughs> your girl got a package. Hold on, I should bring y'all down some. Okay, so your girl got a package. <laughs> I'm so excited because Caraway sent me a new pot set. Do y'all see that name? Oh, y'all can't see it. Do y'all see it? Do you see it? tool set and this is so I don't mess up the interior of my new pot set from Caraway. I'm like so excited about that. Um, so I didn't like do like a full 
unboxing with you guys earlier, but we can do that right now. I'm so excited because y'all know I love to cook. So this is like really exciting for me. So this is the, I got the cream set because I thought that it'd be so cute and classic because everything in my apartment is like cream, beige, um, brown, gold, stainless steel, you know, white, stuff like that. So I got the cream set and this is the saucepan and it's really freaking heavy actually. On the box it has like the names of each because I don't even know. I didn't even know that this was technically considered a saucepan. But this is the Dutch oven. This is the saute pan. What's this? This is the saute pan. I just love this. This is so cute and heavy and just like, it's definitely gonna elevate my content when uh, creating cook with me's or whatever. We're gonna figure something out. And then this is the frying pan. I really wish I had a um, gas stove. When I was in New York, I had a gas stove. Well, my first apartment had a gas stove in New York, but my second one was electric. But I wish I had a gas stove. I think that'd be so fire. But anyway, so yeah, this is the pot set. And it says, meet your pan racks. Oh, we have pan racks. The right temperature, medium or low heat, is all your pans need to treat your food right. These are white slash cream, so I don't want to ruin the exterior of it by having the heat so high and then like it might stain the side or bottom of the pans but yeah it's so cute so we have a we have a we have a pan rack oh i didn't even notice this y'all we have a pan rack but I'm ready to start cooking. I mean, it's dinner time, so it's actually past dinner time because it's nine o'clock at night, but whatever. I hate that my camera does this. So Y'all got any suggestions of like another damn camera? Because this Canon G7X Mark III was a waste of money. Well, I actually got it back in 2020. Back in 2020, that's when I got this camera. So I've had it for about two years now. like right here because down here I keep like my bread and canned food and like water nuts stuff like stuff that you would keep keep a lot typically keep in a pantry I would like put down here and then up here is where I keep like my plates and stuff I don't have any I have literally I have so much look she's fucking crazy I don't know if y'all can see but I literally have so much space up there, but I can't freaking reach it. I need like a little ladder, cause I mean, I still wouldn't put anything up here actually. <laughs> I still wouldn't put anything up here. And then over here is where I keep like seasonings and stuff, which I wanna organize like soon. I wanna go to the container store to get some stuff to organize like my seasonings and like all that stuff. I think that'd be like at the container store, I don't know. Yeah, I think so, because I've seen Taja on her Instagram. She was at the container store, and she was getting a whole bunch of stuff to kind of, like, organize um, her kitchen, like, her cabinets and stuff. So, I need to take my ass to the container store. And then, 
So I'm thinking it won't look bad to kind of just like keep it up here. Like this can be its own little thing for now at least because yeah, I don't have anywhere else to put it. Actually, I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna put this stuff over here and then put this stuff over here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's do that right now. Well, what's this actually? Ooh! Uh -huh, more goodies inside. It even says it right there, more goodies inside. And then we also have another box over here, actually. And I'm assuming, obviously, this has to come with lids. So I think this is the box for the lids. You're one step closer to a cleaner cooking. Lid holder and hooks. <gasps> cute! Oh my god! So cute! This is an actual lid holder. Oh, this is so cute. We love this. Gone are the days of displaying all of your lids. <laughs> you can basically tuck these babies away. So they come with three lids. There's four pots and pans, so hopefully one of these can, and they're so sturdy, so heavy. Today because I'm gonna have to order I'm gonna have to order some hooks or yeah I'm gonna have to order some hooks because it only came with one. Oh, and I got this really cute serving tray from Target as well so cute and I love it because of the gold accent. So this is like super cute. So I got me a little serving tray because I actually don't have a dining table. I like eat on my sofa. And I actually don't even have a space for a dining table. And I have like this huge countertop. I have like this huge countertop right here. But there's no space for me to put any bar stools. And yeah, there's like, like no leg room to put bar stools. So I don't have room for a table and I don't have, <laughs> um, any space for bar school. And I mean, it's just me and Nala here. So yeah, I don't have me a table, but I do um, have to order me a desk. So there's like this acrylic desk that I seen on Amazon that I think that would be so cute in here and just get like a really nice cute chair from like Wayfair or like, yeah, from like Wayfair and whatever. And I'll just use that for like work, but I'm cool with just my, my little serving tray and sitting on my mother's couch with my feet up watching. Um, what am I watching right now? Oh, I'm watching uh, Selling, Selling, what is it? Selling Tampa? Selling, not Selling Tampa. It's Selling Sunset. Oh my God, I want to see Selling Sunset. That show is so good on, um, on Netflix. It's such a good show. It's basically real estate in California and it be giving your girl some ideas. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and move all of this stuff over there. Over here, over there, and over there, over here. That's what I'm gonna do. Got a man. I wanna know. I wanna know. I'm not mad at this at all. I don't think this looks too bad. I mean, I'm a it's it's not bad. I think this is pretty cute, but th this whole set is so cute. Would it be nice if it was underneath the cabinet? Yes, but I ain't got the space. But I think that it looks perfectly fine on the counter. What y'all think? For right now. For right now. And then I mean obviously it'll look better and more uniformed with all of them without the lid but I can't hang my lids up I can't hang my lids up yet because I don't have the extra hook but for right now this will do I think that that's pretty cute hmm. 
But anyways, I feel like I've done enough talking. I'm gonna link everything down below in the description box. I'm like really excited to start cooking with this. I'm actually gonna start cooking tonight. So I'm gonna do a nice little cute little montage or little segment of me cooking. And y'all can just vibe out to the recipe and the food. You know what I'm saying? steaks are supposed to be taste better but I don't know I feel like when I had my steak doll I'm able to season it and I'm able to beat it up I don't know how to explain it but it's shut up <laughs> thank you so much I tenderized my steak <laughs> so when I cook it it be all like tender Easy to cut, easy to chew, and it'd be well done. But it'd be so soft and nice and tender. This one, it still tastes good, but. Yeah, not even that. I feel like it tastes perfectly fine, or well, season wise, but cutting it, I feel like I'm digging into it. And when I chew it, I gotta chew it like 50 times before I swallow. It's just giving out that steakhouse and not the upper echelon steakhouse. Uh, uh, steakhouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am dressed for a girl's night. I'll, I don't know if I like my hair. I feel like I look cuter without makeup. <laughs> I feel like I was looking cuter earlier without my makeup, but y'all can't really see my outfit, but let me see. Whoop. This is the outfit. I wore this in a charm haul a few months ago, um, and I just had on some black boots with my black bag and silver accessories. Hopefully, it's a vibe. Hopefully, it reads. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Hopefully, it reads. your from first? You oh. spilled it? No. Oh. <laughs> what? I wasn't gonna say how much you. Okay. Wait, you know, we need to pick the right filter. Pick. Hey, Shut your ass. deodorant. <laughs> oh, those are all the options. Oh, yeah, and this one's my favorite. No, the other one was better. You guys should be careful. I know. Okay. Okay. This one's better. Vibes. Is it blurry? It's always doing that shit. No, not um. Uh, it's not blurry. Oh, you are gonna get taken a shower? Cheers to this better. It is, it does not better. Are you sure? Oh. Mm -hmm. Your finger doesn't work, boo. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> okay. Let me do hands free. Dini, please press the glove. Yeah, 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 what Sorry. happened? What happened? Nothing. It got on my butt a little bit. But it didn't get on the carpet. Oh, it's clear. It's clear. Why are you stranding us? The angle. Oh, yeah, you're right. My dad made that for me. He 3D printed it. He yes. designed what? it. Yeah. Aww. For my birthday. That's All right. Yeah, that's my it. face is not showing. Sure. I'm with. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to do cheers. Cheers! Cheers. Yeah, oh, shit. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> yeah! Oh. 
We need to another one. All right. Where's the Patron bottle? Oh, another one? Another shot? Yes, hey. we only took one. Hey. I know that one. <laughs> we don't have a section. We need to swallow this now. Mm. I'm so, crying. <laughs> so yeah, hey, hey, when we get there, we're not like being like, oh, we're sober now because we only took one shot. We're not gonna have like a bottle straight away. Okay. <laughs> Who's gonna give um the toast? A toast, a quick toast, a quick toast. Okay, toast. Five. Oh, it's living five minutes. All right, quick toast. A toast to another good night. Let's hope it's a good night, even though we're shining the night at one. It's gonna be a great ass night. Not even a good, great, a great ass, ass night. night. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, bad bitches. <laughs> Amen. Please say okay. this for me, please. Woo! Time to go. Oops. Oh shit. So we're gonna rock study tonight again. It's Tuesday and they do Afrobeats on Tuesday. So, you know, it's supposed to be lit. So this is like our last hot girl kind of like summer weekend. Um, so we really went all out this weekend. <laughs> so today's gonna be the last day. I, I'm about to actually um, Uber to Angie's house. We're meeting at Angie's house again. My Uber's probably like four minutes away. But, and I'm using Uber this time because lit be tripping. But anyways, I'm rewearing this outfit that I wore, to, I think, to like the Korean festival or something like that back in May. Um, it's so cute. And then this little purse is a vintage pink little purse that I actually got from my mom. This was like hers way back in the day. And then I have on these like um, bedazzled sandal heels, little kitten heels. They say 100% and then the other shoe says bitch. So it says 100% that and then the other shoe says bitch. So cute. So yeah, that's my little outfit. It's definitely a little vibe. So cute. Um, I feel bad because I've been leaving all it in the house this weekend, and she probably like, girl, I'm sick of you, mama. Sit your ass down. <sighs> Let's try it again, y'all. <laughs> Got a little photo shoot going on. <laughs> it's the fact that we're on the same vibe today. <laughs> I'm about to make a quick cocktail real quick. We want to make some lemon drops. We were supposed to go to Pasha's pregame. I call it pregame. And I so desperately wanted a lemon drop, so I'm about to make some And a hookah. Okay, so I tried to vlog this weekend. It was just really hard. I tried, but whatever. Today's a brand new day, and I'm about to, well, I'm actually waiting for Bree to get here because we're gonna have some daiquiris and pizza and food. We're gonna sit by the pool and we're just gonna vibe out. Um, I got this bathing suit from, I think light in the box. I did a trial haul. I'm gonna link it right here. I did a trial haul about a few weeks ago on all the baby suits that I got. The only thing I hate is that this thing don't stay up my arm. Mm. But I need to make some simple syrup for our daiquiris and bring the blender out. I got this 
flatbread, this mushroom and black truffle flatbread from Trader Joe's. Oh my God, it's so good. So good, I'm about to heat it up, put it in the oven, and then probably do like chips and dip. And she's bringing the champagne. Shout out to Reese. Shout out to Princess Reese. And what else? Oh yeah. Jacqueline, so I got the strawberry. Below that, it's too thick. Oh, and I got these balloons. Not balloons, these bubbles. I can pull out. I had these since my 21st birthday. Huh? I had a bunch of them. I just don't necessarily know where they're at. Oh, ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? I need to put some makeup on my stomach to cover up these damn marks. Pretty. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like I'm not helping. Huh? What can I do? What you wanna do? You wanna some strawberries? Yeah. Squeeze the line. You squeeze the line. Okay, let me wash my hands. Sorry now, you guys. I was thinking, I was like, I just want these fucking strawberries together. Like, oh, I hate, I don't know. When I buy like fruits, and vegetables in Atlanta, they don't last that long. No. I don't know why. I mean, I guess because they got farms out here and they're fresh. I don't know. Oh, weird. Maybe they, like in Georgia. So you're saying that. Because I feel like in New York they last longer because they're probably cooking more put processed. Pesticide. Yeah, because they got to travel and stuff. <laughs> so it makes more sense. They got to travel further. Last week of September. They can't see you on your sister. I've been doing really bad at walking this week. That's because you just been outside. I've been really bad, so I think I've lost my touch. Okay. No, well, I think you just probably had a week where you was in. You need a break. Yeah, break. I don't know. You need to get work. Get work. Our shout out to Reese, shout out to Princess Reese. We are about to have a pool day and we're making Woo! We're making the Reese Frosé. And she sent she sent Bree a card. It is um one bottle of Bel Air Rosé, uh one fourth cup of sugar or agave, agave, one cup of ice, four ounces of strawberries one ounce of fresh lemon juice and one fourth cup of water which is optional the water is optional but we don't want water we want all rosé <laughs> Okay, this is how I look half the time when I'm editing, but we went to the pool. It's this boy who was trying to speak to me a couple months ago, and but he won't put in no pressure. I went like a week and a half or two without talking to him. So he gets mad when he sees me on a date with somebody else, and he called himself texting me, calling me outside of my name and stuff like that. Boy, block, look, block arm on strong this year, okay? But uh, yeah, so he caught himself running into me at the pool, just trying to be seen, trying to be annoying, you know. Fuck out of here, go to hell. Mm. This is so fun! Wait, we gotta pour it over here, girl. So we get the pour. Right. You get it. Alright. Hey, can I have one of them grapes? Oh, cute! Hey, let me get one of them grapes. Man. You gonna apologize? Yeah. What you yeah. for? Yo, these my folks for real. Let me get a grape, though. You gonna apologize? Can I take a picture? Don't touch these grapes. Yeah, don't touch I ain't done yet. Are you going to apologize? Yeah, for sure. Apologize. You want me to do it right now? Yes. Yeah. On your life. 
I'm sorry for calling you a bitch. I apologize. No, no say it. No, I just said it. I no, just no. said it. You gotta say it. I, I just said it. I am sorry. Said it. I no, just you said gotta it. gotta say it the way we say it. Say it. I just I said, said it. I am sorry. I called you out of your name. Me, me. You stay out of this. Yeah, I'm in it. Can you ask, can you ask these folks a question real quick? Hey, they are not cool. Hey, B boy, they do some they do some content. Leave them alone. They do some content. Hey, y'all know y'all click on my profile. That motherfucker say B boy two player. What the hell is y'all talking about, man? Hey, hey, they do some content. Leave them alone. Oh, this one's better. Oh, this one's better. Hey, They doing cuts in it, man. Hey, that, what is that, a pizza? You said you didn't like pizza. No, I don't, I don't know. I'm saying I don't want none. It's a flatbread. Oh, flatbread. Oh, flat 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 Who said? It's the sugar round. It's the sugar round. Got an image in You said what? I was mad at you. Why? No reason. I think what I seen with your new man, I kind of, it kind of just hurt me a little bit. You know what I mean? He was putting, he was putting the pressure. All right, for sure, for sure. You want putting the pressure? For sure. I understand. You know, as long as you have the icon on there, I can really, you know what I mean? It's Brie over here trying to blow up. We gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> what is that actually? That you can lay on? Oh, cute. I just wanna straighten it out. Grand time. It's actually, I'm actually getting sleepy. I'm making dinner. Making some salmon. Some. Uh, what's this called? Risotto. And. Green beans. Off of Trader Joe's. I swear to God. I'm about to reach out to Trader Joe's and ask them if we could, like, do a little something, something together. Because I've been talking about them way too goddamn much in my life. Yeah, I want to see all my people win, and we know that I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back